How you going guys and welcome to another episode of Skull Cam. First thing we need to do, change that front wheel. Here's the one we're going to replace it with. We'll stick it down here for the moment. I'll just take this cover off so it doesn't get in the way. Just grab a spanner out. This one's a 14 mil. And a mini shifter in case I need to hold the bolt on the other side while I undo it. We remove the bolt from one side. Now what we can do is slide the axle out, grab the hammer. We're also gonna use the wire brush. We're just gonna use the end of the wire brush to protect the thread while we gently tap it with the hammer. Now just support the wheel with one hand and pull the axle straight out. It was a bit of an effort, but we did get it out. Camera battery went flat. It's the life of a pocket bike vlogger. Battery on charge. Anyway, back to it. So if you're new to Skull Cam, here's a quick overview. I built up a pocket bike to take down to Archfield, my local racetrack. Then I crashed, bent the forks, Replace them with the ones off that frame. Let's get that wheel off and stick it on there. So we've got the slick wheel off the old forks. And before I stick them on there, I'm just going to give them a real good clean up. Clean inside the rim where I normally can't reach. Also, I'm going to give this a scrub with the wire brush. Because I couldn't reach that when the tyre was on there. So while it's off, good opportunity to give it a clean. I'll get that done. And then there's something I need to show you. I got you outside and we're all set up to clean the front wheel and try and get rid of some of the rust on the inside of these four. Bit of cloud coming over. Hopefully it doesn't rain. I haven't got you outside to watch clean the bike. I said earlier that I had something to show you guys. So here it is. If you noticed, in some of the older videos, this used to be the pocket stunt bike. It used to have a grey frame. Off camera, I painted it black. I used this really cheap Australian export paint. The problem with that is it literally, it like, it just rubs off guys. Check that out. So every time you like touch the bike and pick it up, your hands go black. I do have a solution for that. I got some good quality black paint. It's engine enamel with ceramic. It's designed to withstand high heat temperatures and it should dry as a lot tougher coating as opposed to that stuff. Stay tuned for the skull cam video where we completely strip down this bike to the bare frame and paint it with some quality paint. Anyway, I'm gonna get this cleaning done cut back to in the room where there's something else I want to show you. That cheap paint on the frame is so annoying. Anyway, I got you back in the room. I'll just have to get you to excuse the mess. I've been doing a few live streams, so if you want to catch up with Skull Cam on a live stream to ask any questions about pocket bikes or any other question, uh, look out for the live stream. And also, I just want to mention, in the last few videos, I done like a vote to see which colour shell you guys like the most. The green one, the orange and blue one, the orange or the blue. I counted up the votes and turns out the green Kawasaki shell wins. So it looks like we're going with the green one. But before I get it on there guys, there's a few things I need to fix, like the crack in the tank there and the two holes at the back. And I'll just show you something real quick. We'll stick that down there. And I'll just grab this tank. This is the tank that fits with that cover. 
but this tank will not fit onto that frame. The way I fix that guys, I'll just show you on this one. Just flip it upside down for a sec. To get this style of cover to fit onto that frame, I had to use a pocket bike, dirt bike tank, and I had to glue it in there. I have to get another pocket dirt bike tank for that cover. In the meantime, while we wait for that, I have to fix this one because I'm racing Friday night. This is the only cover I have with a tank that fits, but this shell still has its problems. It's got a massive crack there. I'll turn it back over. Also on the spout here, it's cracked around the bottom and actually leaks out fuel. I've tried to put uh, some glue around there, but that didn't seem to work too well. So what I'll do is I'll probably cut that off and try and screw that one in and see if that makes a difference. Anyway guys, I'm going to take this cover outside and try and fix it with a little bit of fiberglass. Try and fix that massive crack in it. Back outside, we've got a few supplies. We've got some metho to wipe the shell down to get any grease or grime or dirt off it. We've got the cloth to wipe it with. I've got some Araldite to try and reseal the spout coming out of that tank. I'll do that before I try and fix it with this. I also have some fiberglass resin, uh, some fiberglass matting and the hardener. I was thinking about putting a layer of fiberglass inside the cover to try and fix that crack and to stop it cracking anymore. There's also a sheet of sandpaper just to sand it down before we apply the fiberglass so it sticks properly. Let's get into it. I'm going to use this box knife to try and scrape off some of the old uh, glue that I have around the spout here. Well, that was easy. Just like that. That's the old piece of Araldite glue off. Now that I have the old glue off the spout, I'm going to give it a wipe down with methylated spirits to get all the old fuel off before I put more glue on. Next thing to do, mix up a bit of Araldite and apply it to the spout. We got that one glued up, hopefully it seals well. Last time I did this it just cracked, so I tried to spread it out a little bit more and we'll see how it goes. So we're back down here, I've left it for about half hour, that glue is finally touched dry. What we're going to do now is try and fix this crack. And to do that I'm going to sand it down first rough it all up then wipe it down with the methylated spirits and after that i'll put a layer of fiberglass on the inside of the pocket bike cover Let's give it a wipe down with some methylated spirits. Mm -hmm. 
That's the bottom sanded and wiped down. Now let's do some fiberglassing. Here's the fiberglass matting I'll be laying down. I've got all the fiberglass matting laid out. I put a bit up the front here just to support that crack that was under there. And I'm gonna put a whole layer on the bottom just to try and toughen it up. If I had enough fiberglass resin, I probably would do the inside and around the tank. But at the moment, I've only got a little bit left. So I'll do what I can do and then we'll cut back to that. I'm not going to record myself mixing up the resin or painting it onto the fiberglass matting because I don't want to get it on my hands and on my camera. So I'll cut back to when that's done. I've made a mess, but I got the fiberglassing done. Uh, let's wait for it to dry. Bam. So we've got the front wheel changed, we've got the fiberglassing done, I've painted the shell with this colour paint here, it's electro blue, anyway I've got you down the back, good to see that weather cleared up and it didn't start to rain. Not sure if you've seen in any of the previous videos but I had to take the carburetor off because it was getting blocked up when I took the bike down to the track. So I've taken the carburetor off and cleaned it out and stuck it back on. Let's see if it even starts. The skull cam van. I just have to get some fuel out from in there. So this is pre-mixed 50 to one. Stick that down there. Undo the fuel cap. I just use the funnel so I don't spill fuel on the new paint job. Let's get some fuel in. That should be plenty, it's just a test start it. Stick the choke on, give it a prime up. Running fine guys, might have to turn the idle down a little bit, but at least she started up. Anyway, I'm going to shut it down. I got you back in the room for the last time in this video. It's like midnight. In the previous clip where I'd done the startup, you might have noticed a bit of fuel leaking down. That's because I was just trying out this new fuel line and I hadn't put the hose clip on yet. So the fuel was just leaking out of there a bit. So I'll stick that one on there tomorrow and it'll be all good. One more thing I need to say. I want to say a big thanks to all the Skull Camp subscribers. And to show my appreciation guys, I'm going to take this one out with a few shout outs. That's a wrap. First shout out goes to Gain Luca Carafa. There you go guys, go check out his channel. Second shout out goes to Cagboy. There you go guys, go check out his channel. Next shout out goes to Leon Gans Van Rensburg. There you go guys, go check out his channel. Last shout out goes to the ZX Life. There you go guys. Go check out his channel.